sitting here on one of the many suspension bridges that we find. I'm just talking about how steep this river is. One of the management kind of strategies that we really think about uh, and forget about is actually managing what's on top of the escarpment. See, the top of the escarpment up here is where the water comes from that the rainforest needs. The water falls down, flows through the river, soaks into this volcanic soil, and that's what, that's what we need for the rainforest. However, the top of the escarpment is all private farming. And so the rainforest, the National Parks and Wildlife Service, really need to think through how they communicate with these farmers and how they think about, well, what are you doing on your farm that's going to affect the rainforest below you? Pesticides, pumping up the river, that type of thing. It's another example of rainforest management. We've got the boardwalk and a huge tree that they really don't want to cut down, but this is getting in the way. So they've just come up with a beautiful lo-fi solution to ensure that you can still get past, but that we keep the forest as pristine as possible. Another one of the management strategies that we find the National Parks and Wildlife Service relies on are volunteer groups. So Minamara Forest has a volunteer group called Friends of Minamara. These guys come and, and what they do is they conduct surveys where they all head off into the rainforest and they'll look for pests, look for plants that have been introduced and pull them out and they'll take stock of, of how much they find etc etc and they kind of try and ensure there's an equilibrium of native plants being held and that uh, pest introduced species are uh, kept as small a part of the rainforest as possible because like lantana if they're introduced and they take hold sometimes there's no way in getting them out.